Okay, hi. Yes, Silas Hyphen Charles, a bachelor's degree in environmental engineering. And um, today I just want to talk about another issue that needs a little bit of um, awareness. And that is the sediment pollution that dredging of the river causes um, in our marine coastal systems. Um, basically, when you you dig the river, right, to increase its um, volumetric capacity <laughs> to allow more water to flow, to flow down, flow down to the sea, um, in an attempt to mitigate flooding. I've seen it work in in the Kolebistu area, but it creates an enormous amount of um, sediment pollution, right? And um, if you take a glass and you go diving, diving, right? For instance, um, near the, the mouth of the river in Layu, or near the mouth of the river in Kulibis Tree, or, or, or probably in Rosu, you will see a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of sediment deposition they yeah, taking place at the bottom of the sea, yeah, near the shore, right? Now, this basically destroys the natural habitat of the fish, right? And uh, it invites a lot of, of um, lizard fish, yeah, lizard fish, which is which is a pretty much serious predator in the um, in the sea yeah in the coast yeah the predator fish it, they eat a significant amount of fish so if you go diving and you could probably ask ask the little kids that go snorkeling with their little fish guns and stuff and you could even see when they're passing you see see they they shoot a lot of uh, lizard fish even myself when i went of went went fishing when i go fishing i see a lot of lizard fish they basically camouflage themselves themselves in the in the um, sediment right and um these fishes are normally found in barren areas right so the lizard fish can be basically used as a bio indicator of sediment pollution right so all the sand all the sand that that the, the dredging of the river releases to the sea eventually ends up at the bottom of the sea yeah and um not only that but all the organic material from the, 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 the from the dead plants and so on that was caused by the impact of um, Hurricane Maria to create created a lot of sediment pollution yeah even even still you could go in some of the rivers yeah here in Dominica and see a lot of sediment all over the stones and stuff like that if you put your hands over the stone your hands will come out black or brown and that's because of the presence of sediment yeah so anyway going back to the lizard fish people will see it you will see it they call it zandolilame you will see it it'll be there you'll be looking at it with your glass and you'll be like wow why is there so much lizard fish <laughs> why is there so much lizard fish <laughs> and that's because of the amount of sediment and sand that's there yeah and it's a nice comfortable place where they could camouflage themselves and eat an enormous amount of fish an enormous amount of fish so the rise in the, 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 the population of lizard fish, right? 
creates an impact on 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 the, the, the fish population because they eat a lot of fish yeah they are excellent hunters yeah and they are, they are one of the the better predators they are right after the the, the 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 um what you call that the kong the kong yeah i think uh, yeah in english they call that the the, the seal a seal yeah seal seal i think i think yeah but we're all familiar with it yeah but hey you could look up the scientific name for it and even correct me yeah 